Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. So in this video I'll be taking a look at reviewing and giving my first impressions on this lightweight and compact fishing seat box. Right so here it is the NGT session seat box with the rucksack overwrap. I recently bought this brand new. I bought mine from eBay. You can also get it from um, other online sellers on the internet. So this is quite a popular style of seat box at the moment. And with this overwrap, it kind of turns it into a type of rucksack. You can see at the back here, it gives it these straps so you can put this on your back. And carry it around with you if you're roving, if you're on the move, or if you prefer to use a rucksack over a sort of carry-all. So the main part of it is this plastic box here. It's got some different compartments. I'll show you those in a moment. And then you've got this over wrap. As I say, you can buy these separately. And this wraps around the box. It clips here. It has like an incorporated soft seat pad as well. And then it's got two zipped pockets at the front. It's got one here at the side. Uh, you can see I've still got the tag on it. Canvas seat box wrap. And it's got another pocket here. for I suppose putting a drink in maybe or a small flask or something like that. It also comes with a shoulder strap which you can attach here. And um, there's some areas at the sides here so that you can attach bait trays. I'll show you the bait trays later on. So to open the box you can just unclip it, lift this back You've got this top section which is um, held on with these two clasps here. Just pop these off. So this box can not only be used as a rucksack, it can also be used as a seat. The first layer comes off here and in the lid, just bring it closer. In the lid you've got these sections here which pop up with these two levers. You can add tackle into these, there's four of those in total. And the hinge has got like a metal pin in it here. And it sits back almost level, just a bit further than level. So I wouldn't want to put too much weight in here, just in case you drop that, it could damage that hinge. I'll probably use this for hook links, things like that. Here is the, uh, the strap, pretty standard strap. I personally don't think I'll be using this at the moment because I'm going to use it as a rucksack. So it has that and then in this top section here you can store tackle so you've got um, some dividers here which um, go into dedicated sort of areas and you can remove them to increase the size of these compartments or shrink them down it's quite deep I'll just get the tape measure it's quite a deep section here about six centimeters deep uh, the top width for this box is about 21 and a half centimeters by around 36 centimeters and the overall height of the box is around 37 centimeters nice and compact so then You've got the main section. These clips feel quite strong and secure. Keeps that nice and rigid. You've got the uh, the main section here, unclips, opens up. And again, um, I'd be careful if you buy one of these, don't really overflow, uh, overfill this section because if you drop this back, I'm just guessing, but it could maybe damage this part here. So just nice and carefully take it back or even just hold it in position while you get your stuff, don't drop this back. 
And again, this is held on with some pins. Uh, when I got this, uh, this wasn't attached to the box. You have to push the pins in and it came in this uh, cellophane wrapper and it came with these instructions which explains how to put the pin into the, uh, the hinge at the back. And it also comes with this spongy seat pad. Which you put on the top here to give you a bit of extra cushioning if you're going to sit on it. And then you can put this over the top and it looks, sort of doubles up the, the cushion effect. And again, you've got, as I say, this main section here, nice, decent sized section. You can put your reels in here, bait, uh, tackle box, bait, things like that. First impressions, um, it's decent, I think. It's quite, seems fairly well made. I don't know how well it might hold up over time, although um, it seems decent enough to me. That goes back on there like so. I personally, I'm gonna use this as a backpack and uh, carry my, my tackling things in for general course fishing. So the next time you see this box, I'm gonna be adding my tackle to it. It'll be filled with my tackle, and then we'll take another brief look at it. Right, so now I have added all the tackle that I wanna to add to this box. I'm gonna show you that now, and also the tray that it came with. So um, I'm pretty impressed with how I've managed to get quite a bit of stuff in here. It's quite useful, it's quite compact, although you can get quite a bit of stuff in here at the same time. It's not made for like, um, a day of match fishing or anything like that. It's just made for um, pleasure fishing, short sessions, if you're on the move, if you don't want to carry a lot of stuff. And I think it serves that purpose quite well. So here I've got, in the side, I've got my towel. I always take a towel when I'm fishing. It's really important to get that slime off your hands, even uh, especially if you catch a bream. Good size pockets. Here I've got um, some shots and these pockets also have sort of secondary pockets too here to slot smaller items in. There's one here as well so there's three of those, I'm not even using those yet. And in this pocket I've got my sunglasses and um, scales. I've not put anything in that one. I'll probably just put um, a drink bottle in there when I go fishing. And at the top here, I've just put the, um, the soft pad on there. I might actually glue that to the top just so that it doesn't move around. So this moves, but I might just glue it to the top. I'm not sure yet. I'll just take that off for now. So in this top section, bring you in closer in the top section. In here, I've kept it light, don't wanna to add too much weight in here. I've got loads of hook links, so if I'm out and about, I never need to tie any hooks. I can just choose the appropriate hook link, it's all ready to go. But I do have a little box there of spare hooks too. And then in the main compartment, I've got um, shots, um, bits and bobs, I've got some scissors, um, a rod rest head, feeders, ledgers, floats, pretty much everything I need to do a bit of general course fishing. And there's plenty of room left in here. I've, I've took a few of these dividers out to get the floats in. I might add some sponge to the bottom of here to protect the floats a bit better because there's quite a bit of space here where they could jump about. Um, the lid closes up nice and square. It's not out of line or anything. Those clasps are real tight. You can see there's no movement once they're down. And then this main section here. See, one of the kind of problems with this box um, is that if you just throw this lid back, all your tackle's gonna go upside down. 
um, and you could damage the hinge. So you have to remember, don't just fling this back, sort of hold it in position. I've got my tray in here. I've got a small bait box. And then I've got um, my reel bag with my reel and spare spool. This is a general type of reel, a 3000 size reel for um, front drag reel for sort of float fishing, ledger fishing, anything general. And there's plenty of room left in there as well. Now I just want to show you how the tray attaches. I'll just put this back together. And this can all be adjusted. These can be pulled tighter. And the, uh, the shoulder straps can be adjusted too. And there's also another pocket here, interestingly. Um, you lift up this flap and there's a zip. And there's a pocket there if you want to put something thin and flat in there. I'm not sure what I'd use that for. Uh, maybe for a wallet and a phone. Something like that maybe, I don't know. It's quite concealed. You can imagine if you've got your box here, like on the bank, and you've got your phone and your wallet in there. Um, it's one of those pockets you don't even notice, so it could be good for that. I don't know. But anyway, let's get on to the tray. Here is the tray. I think the tray is pretty well made. Um, good type of plastic, nice green colour. It's got these two clips on here. Um, it's quite stiff to get it on. I think that's because it's new, it needs to wear in. But you've got these two hooks here. Um, I think that one is for the shoulder strap and then these two are for the tray and it hooks on as I say it's quite stiff there we go and that hooks on like so quite rigid quite strong it's not very big but doesn't need to be you could buy a second one and have it on the other side there's room for having one on the other side as well and then I've got my small bait box that fits in there just right. That is about it for the review of this seat box. First impressions for me, um, I, I'm, I'm happy with it. I think in this day and age, 2023, quality wise, I think it's pretty good. Not bad at all. Um, I can't speak for how long it might last, um, how hard wearing it is, but what I can say is that you can buy replacements of these wraps online. You can buy the trays online. So if any parts break, you can replace them. For kids getting into fishing, um, for people who are the, the occasional type of angler, uh, holiday makers, I think it's ideal for that. You can get plenty of stuff in it. Uh, it looks quite good. Um, it's got the bait tray and you can get your tackle in there so yeah i would say it's pretty good i'm glad i bought it i hope you found this review useful i've tried to add in as much useful information as i can about it as i say i've not used it yet but um, from what i've seen it looks pretty good to me and i'm glad i bought it so far so good so if you did find the video useful please remember to like and also consider subscribing for more fishing related videos and as always thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.